welcome welcome back welcome back my friends a big hug a big warm hug to you welcome back to our you are series we have already spoken about your anointing you were reminded that you are anointed for an appointment you are reminded that you are blessed to be a blessing and today we are here to talk about you being a winner a conqueror an overcomer a victor in Christ Jesus Today we're talking about you being called to be a conqueror. I am so happy that you are allowing the words of God to fill you, to steer you, and to remind you of your value in Christ. Now today I am excited and I ho I'm hoping that you will share, share this message with a friend. Call up a friend and tell them, come on over and listen to what is being said because someone, somewhere needs to be reminded of the victory, of the overcoming power they have in Christ Jesus. Now, I am telling you that you're a conqueror, but the truth is the Bible says that you are more than conquerors. Usually I share a song and this song that I made up some time ago is coming back to me and I hope that you're blessed by it. I'm an overcomer, overcomer in the Lord. I'm an overcomer, overcomer in the Lord. I'm an overcomer, overcomer in the Lord. I'm an overcomer in the Lord. Join me. I'm an overcomer, overcomer in the Lord. I'm an overcomer, overcomer in the Lord. I'm an overcomer, overcomer in the Lord. I'm an overcomer in the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are overcomers. Now, you know that I love to dig in the word because I do not want to say what he let comes up with. I like to say, thus saith the Lord. And so we're going to share the word. And I want to share first off with you, Romans 8. Now, Romans 8 verse 35 to 37 says, Who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Hey, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Oh my gosh. This is such a beautiful passage. We are more than conquerors through him that loves us. Nothing can separate us from his love. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Now, I am so excited about this scripture because it's telling us that we are conquerors through Christ. He is on our team. He is our leader. He is directing our path. And there is nothing in this world that can separate us from this God who will help us to win the victory because we are called to be overcomers. We are called to be conquerors through him. So Romans 5 verse 4 says that whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. We are conquerors and overcomers through Christ. Now, as we contemplate the word conquerors, I want to talk about three elements of that word. A conqueror is a winner. A conqueror is someone who subdues. A conqueror is someone who overcomes. So today we'll be talking about you being a winner, you being able to subdue, and you being an overcomer. I'll be drawing on three of my Bible friends. You know, I like to talk about my friends in the Bible because we can learn so much from their experiences. And the first person I want to talk about is my friend, this woman who had an issue. Yes, you got it right. The woman with the issue of blood. And we can find her story in the Gospels. Now, she's an unnamed woman. And I believe that this is deliberate because she has an issue so many women, so many people all over can relate to. It may not be the issue of having that physical blood flow tormenting you for years, 
but some of us have some issues that are tormenting us. Even young people, we feel stressed and distressed because there are some things in our lives that are just holding us captive. For years, we have been tormented by them. For years, we are travailing with them. For years, we are wondering, when am I going to get a break from it? And this lady, her issue was for seven years. Some of us may not have an issue for that long. Some of us may have an issue for even a longer time. But I believe that we can draw strength from her story because she did something so amazing. Her story, it has been such an inspiration because of the boldness, because of the courage, because this lady decided that she's going to do something about this issue she had. She was tired, she was fed up, and she wanted change. Now, I don't know what it is that you're going through, but I know that you may be just tired and fed up about it. And I'm going to tell you that even though you have tried so many things, like this lady who went to physicians after physicians and she could not get any form of relief. She did the, her next best. Now, even if your issue is a week old, you are in a more privileged position than our friend because you don't have to just go about trying everything. You're going to try what was her last resort is going to be your first resort. But today, I'm encouraging you, like that woman, to reach out in faith and touch the hem of Jesus' garment. Knowing it's Jesus, knowing it's Jesus, it is Jesus in my soul. For I have touched the hem of his garment, and his blood has made me whole. Today, you can be a winner through Jesus by reaching out in faith and touching the hem of his garment. You do not have to find Jesus in a crowd physically because he is available today. And so I want to invite you to be a winner and to touch the hem of Jesus' garment. Corinthians 15 verse 57 tells us, Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through Christ Jesus. It is through Christ Jesus that we are winners, we are victors. Now that brings me to my other friend, my other friend who I am so passionate about. And this friend is Mary Magdalene. Mary, Mary, Mary. No, not Mary, Jesus' mother, but Mary, one of Jesus' disciples. I call her a disciple because of course she was a follower of Jesus. This woman, she was subjected to demons. She had all kinds of things that were oppressing her for, we don't know how long it was, but we know that Jesus casted out seven, seven demons out of her. Now, some of us, we are challenged with some issues. I don't know if it's the issue of lying. I don't know if it's the issue of gossiping and biting. I don't know if it's an issue of sexual immorality. I don't know if it's an issue of being distracted by the music and the fashion. I don't know if it is the, the, the issue of of having friends that are not there to help us to be better. I don't know if it is that it's the issue of family, family issues, whatever it is, generational curses. But we know that with Jesus, Mary had these issues subdued. I don't know if today you are besetted by procrastination. I don't know if you are besetted by indiscipline. Other bad practices that are separating you are seeming to separate you. But we know we have to go back a bit because in the scripture that I read first, it says that nothing can separate us because we are conquerors. Through Christ Jesus, we can have the victory. So today I'm telling you that you must submit your will to Jesus Christ in the same manner that Mary Magdalene, she submitted and had Jesus subdue the demons that were holding her captive. Some of us today need to pray a special prayer asking God to hold us under subjection and to give us the victory over the things that are holding us and preventing us from serving God the way that we should. Today, I want to tell you that you are called to be a conqueror, to have all those things that are besetting and holding you captive, free, free at last. We are claiming freedom today. Today in this series, we are calling on God to speak to our hearts and to wash us and purify us and to remove all those things that are causing us not to operate in his victory. Praise the Lord. We are, you are conquerors today. Mary Magdalene, she was freed because she submitted to Jesus. She allowed his 
power to permeate your soul. And today you can have that freedom. Our third friend that I want to tell you about, she was an overcomer. Now this lady, she was at a well going about her business, you know, doing her domestic work when Jesus showed up. And he was able to tell her all the things that were in her past that were haunting her. She would have what we call the scarlet letter on her. Her sins were written all over her because in that culture, she was corned. But Jesus set her free. She was an overcomer through Jesus. Everyone scorned this woman because of all the things, all the mess of her past. I don't know what you're dealing with in your past, but I can tell you that you are an overcomer because Jesus is here today to give you a clean slate. Jesus said to her, give me some water. And she said, how can you ask me a Samaritan woman for water? Now Jesus said to her, and I'm going to read this part. You know the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink. You would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Now this woman turned to him and she said, Now sir, how can you talk about giving me water when you do not have anything to draw from the well? Are you greater than Father Jacob who built this well? Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whosoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst again will never thirst again. Now you can be an overcomer by drinking from the water that Jesus is offering you today. You can be an overcomer like this woman. Now she got so excited when the Holy Spirit touched down on her. That woman ran like she was crazy. And she said, come see a man, come see a man. Now she was the greatest evangelist because she ran with such speed and she told everyone she met that listen, this man called Jesus, he has given me overcoming power all the things that I've done in life I do not near to need to wear them I do not have to be burdened by guilt and shame and be oppressed by all that has happened in my past because I am free because he has given me living water now Jesus is calling you to give you living water today to make you a winner demons and the troubles and all the things holding you captive to have them subdued and to make you an overcomer now as a child I used to love to sing this little song on my children's choir give me water from the well that never runs dry give me water from the well that gives me hope when I die give me water from the well that never runs dry and I will thirst no more no you don't have to thirst no more because Jesus is calling you to be a conqueror. He's calling you to be a winner like the woman with the issue of blood. He's calling you to have power over the things that have you captive, to subdue the demons and the stresses and distresses that are holding you captive. He is calling you to be an overcomer because you are more than conquerors. He's calling you today to put on the whole armor of God. Romans 12 verse 1. I beseech you therefore brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Allow God to make you a conqueror today.